All right, so checking out the G70 shooting brake. All right, so let's drive this thing, see what it's got. This is the very first shooting brake wagon fastback you call it well there seems to be a very subtle change in terms of the different terms and also what the manufacturers you know refer to it as genesis decided to call these a shooting brake and this once again is the very first shooting brake introduced by genesis well there's a video on that one right here where i covered all the colors and also the inside and out of this car when i posted that video there were a lot of people asking me about about when the release date or if there will ever be a release for North American market there's always the wagon fans out there so hopefully hopefully Genesis also brings this over to the US market as well the test driver that I am driving I am inside a 2.0 turbo model and unlike G70 sedan where there was the 3.3 twin turbo with a massive power shooting brake did not get that engine as a choice I need to pick up some speed here, obviously, merging in. Oh, I like the active sound generator. So that being said, uh, let me switch over to the different drive mode, which is right here. Just uh, toggle it around. There is a sport. I'm really glad that there is a sport plus on this shooting brake as well. On the sport plus, the car becomes more responsive than the sport because you see on the sport, it will idle at 2000. But as soon as I change it to the sport plus, it goes up to 2500. So it idles higher. It readies itself to shoot itself out. Meanwhile, I want to go over the bumpiness and the way it feels over the bumps. I am currently test driving. Elantra N DCT as a test driver so that might have to do something with me feeling that this car feels really comfortable the Sport Plus even I am on the most stiff suspension setup which is electronically controlled suspension so it has the ECS this G70 shearing brake model and just one more thing and this is the brilliant thing that I like about the Genesis cars nowadays it tells me that the headlights are turned off so let's do some acceleration So once again, not the most powerful engine that Genesis has to offer. So it doesn't like throw me back into the seat to pick up the speed. However, no, just like, let me floor the car right now. So it takes a little time to find the sweet spot for the transmission to engage and whatnot. However, once the gears are engaged, so let me put it onto the manual mode using the shifter, pedal shifters. Once the car is in the right gear, idle it at high enough of the RPM. Oh my, you see? It gives me the kicks. It throws me into the seat. Thank you. And even between the shifts, but just kind of keep in mind that it doesn't have that much of a high RPM. So you have to keep your RPM at somewhat constant level. What do you think about the engine note and sounds? Let's hear it again. I can definitely feel that there is a very limited amount of RPM that I can use when I am shifting down. The red zone sits at 6200 already. You don't really have that much of a rev range for you to play around with. I guess you got to keep that in mind from time to time. Keep on the auto hold. And also you can have the lane keeping assist. Let's check out the camera. So of course, there is the all the views you can have the bird eye view as well as it gives you the rear view cam so that is uh, something that genesis always had so no biggie right there but when these buttons are in physical buttons because some of these buttons you push it like every time you hop in the car changing this around and also i love the fact that they have the dial here this is the good old layout that we've seen it all from the genesis g70 sedan so nothing here has changed everything literally here is the exactly the same if you are driving a pre facelift model you might find some of the subtle differences all those points i've covered that already on my g70 sedan review so go check that out as well so let's actually change it back to comfort and kind of a, a beautiful 
scenery around this place. Jeez, this is a beautiful countryside road. Actually, I am inside a golf course, <laughs> but it could be private property, so I actually want to get out. Just keep it in mind that Genesis made it official that lower the numbers within Genesis family, the more sportier it is and higher the number, the more luxurious it is. So there is a definitely a huge gap between the G70 and also G80 and G90. All right, I think I am almost coming to a dead end right here. So, but before I do that, since we're in a golf course, let's check out some of the cars here. I bet we'll see a lot of Genesis. Genesis G90 right here. I have a feeling that we'll see all the lineups of Genesis. G80, where are you? Brand new G90. <laughs> There's another G80, GV60, G70E, G70 Electrified. We even see that. So where are you, GV60 and G80, GV80, GV80? <laughs> another gv80 all right what are what are we missing gv60 so gv60 gv60 and g70 right g70 and gv60 probably we're not gonna see those all right so g70 and g80 electrified so the only car that we've missed is what gv60 <laughs> So that is what Genesis is here in Korea. The ultimate luxury, luxurious sedan, luxurious brand. The car that delivers your needs once. I'm blown away finding all those Genesis. All right, so let's go back to the review of this car. All right, so this car is hooked up with the eight-speed automatic. It's a great match with a luxurious sedan slash shooting brake like this one. It feels really cozy. Oh, let's check out the turns here. It's gonna be a little tight, but let's floor it. Put the car on the manual mode. And the more I drive this car, I really wish there is more gap or the room for me to use the RPM. The RPM, it feels all locked up. I, f I really wish I could use a, a little more, like a, a 1000 RPM more on this one. So the TCU, the transmission control unit is probably protecting. It's best to um, probably control the heat within the transmission and also the way it behaves and feels. And let's check out some brakes. And uh, I pushed quite hard here, but it feels really soft. I did not feel the ABS engage, so I probably should have slammed it a little harder so I can really go easy with the brakes and stop the car, put the car into a halt really, really gently. Whenever you have somebody on the second row seat and also your shotgun, you can provide them with a great amount of a comfortable drive around the cities and within this car. Feels very elegant, definitely feels like Genesis. All right, so you come with the blind spot monitor of course and uh, the full digital gauge 3d gauge cluster i can feel the depth in between the different design of here i don't know if the gopro is catching it but i can definitely feel that and the lane keeping assist as well as the cruise control hda it's very direct and intuitive if you've been driving this car genesis you can definitely get used to it in a heartbeat like i am doing right now it's so gentle, soft around the turns as well. The glove box, the good old drop tight. And also this car is fully loaded option. You gotta love this burgundy seat belt. This color is also very, very luxurious as well. It goes well with the quilted seats here. Also another premium option that you can set. You can control your passenger seat using this. So right here, I can open the trunk with the push of a button check it out right there and that being said let's go check out just check it out it just feels like a sedan get rid of that and forget you know the trunk is open and it's gone this looks like a sedan wow trunk is open it comes with the luggage screen right here fold your seats right here using visa oh the second row seat has the three different levels of the heated seat as well use this lever right here it folds the second row just like that 
and you can get rid of the screen so easy so that is the how the seats are folded it's like folded all the way and then it shoots up like that but it maximizes and utilizes the shooting brake as is. And also another thing is, you can actually lift this up. There's a level one like that, and there's another fold that you can do right here. That's just the puncture kit without the spare tire. So keep that in mind. And do not use this unless you know exactly what you're doing. Shooting brake, utilizing the space to the maximum. You can, of course, it's uh, fully automated power tailgate and you can open it up using this button as well. This is actually open. The spoiler is open. And another part is that this black part that is tinted, this is actually a glass as well. So you see that is a glass that is tinted from the outside. Let's put the seat back up just push it back super easy like that this just feels like a typical you know g70 sedan second row seat but the difference is that this part is carved in just a little bit so that it provides more headroom space and also LED lights thanks to the design team they actually have bumped up this area right here just a little bit so that it provides a little more headroom and that makes a little bit of a difference as well. Look at this Brembo, four piston Brembo installed right here that goes so well with the black caliper, the red accent that never gets wrong, black and red. The 2.0 I told you about, which is right here. So there is a massive space within the engine bay and wow, there, there truly is a massive space right here. The braces here, the layout, good Genesis layout that we've seen. I like the fact that how Genesis pushed in the engine all the way. So I am sitting right next to the wheel and the engine, half of the engine, or if not even more, is actually sitting inside. This is the engine that pumps out about a little less than 300 horsepower. Once again, the Genesis, uh, this is the youngest brother in the family, but definitely, definitely still is a Genesis after all. The G70 wagon, it does not come with the smart parking assist as we can see. All right, so let's drive this thing, see what's got. So check out how the engine responds and also the TCU, the transmission responds along with the engine and the drive conditions. So let's pick up the speed. And the brakes. Once again, this time I wanna brake, I wanna slam the brakes so that I can feel some of the ABS kicking in. You see, we heard the tire skid, but it just stops so gently. And uh, the, this comes a standard on the Genesis cars. When you slam the brake hard, the emergency light turns on, notifying that the car has stopped and there is the hazard coming up front. I think if I were to engage the ABS on this car, I have to slam it harder, which would make it feel like a track-like condition. So that I don't think is something that we're looking for on our daily driver and also it's we don't come near any close to that condition. So that's okay. So when shifting up, it's using all the RPM and we just saw that that's happening again it uses all the rpm when i floor the car however when i shift down the tcu doesn't let me do it so picking up the speed once again let me floor it right now kicks down finds a sweet spot uses the rpm all the way and the fast corner coming up ahead and it just feels very gentle let me do the brakes going over the bump this definitely is a fun car to drive as well just like the g70 sedan was every time i drive the lowest number of the genesis that being said the gv60 that had the drift mode the car has a drift mode and you can drift the heck out of the car so every time i drive a low number genesis i am always blown away by the fact that how much fun it is to drive and to be behind the wheel 
Don't forget to subscribe and like Cars in Korea if you did, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. This is so much fun. Except for the pedal. <laughs>